you. Following up on our next story here, the FBI and police in Rochester, New York, are now investigating a deadly crash early New Year's Day as possible terrorism. ABC's Rena Roy brings us the clues that authorities are considering now. Dashcam video shows a large SUV on fire slamming into a smaller SUV. Frightening pictures of a person engulfed in flames getting out of one of the vehicles. Police say the crash happened just as a thousand people were leaving a New Year's Eve concert at the Kodak Center in Rochester, New York. You saw the carnage of the cars and the one car burnt up and car pieces everywhere. And it was surreal to think, wow, this happened right here. Both cars slamming into a crowd crossing the street. Nick, how many people injured do you have? <laughs> we're trying to count. We got one, two, three. I can see you on the ground. Three people killed, including the driver of that large SUV, nine other people injured. Police releasing photos of the suspect who they've identified as 35-year-old Michael Avery from Syracuse, New York. And what's raising suspicions? Police say more than a dozen gas cans were discovered inside that large SUV. Avery made at least a half dozen purchases of gasoline in gas containers. The FBI now joining police investigating the incident as a possible act of terrorism. As authorities say, it appears Avery intentionally drove into the crowd. So far, investigators haven't found anything to suggest Avery was motivated by political beliefs. Law enforcement sources telling ABC News the driver of the SUV is from Syracuse and had driven his own car to the Syracuse airport where he rented that large Ford Expedition SUV. Investigators are pouring through the suspect's electronic devices and social media accounts and talking to friends and relatives as they try to learn more. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.